Hi, welcome back to Strength and Conditioning TV. It's me, Brendan Chaplin. I'm here with Sophie Wood. How are you doing today, Soph? All good, thank you. Good. Looking forward to something new. Looking forward to something new. I like it. Well, today we have got a nice little sled circuit work capacity sort of thing for you. Challenge, Challenge. may be the right word for it. And here's the thing. The sled is a really good piece of kit to use. It works so many muscles and it works in a really functional way, productive way. And it also builds great work capacity, great cardiovascular development from using a sled as well. So I'm a real big fan of the sled. Key things with the sled though, you need a floor that facilitates the sled to be pushed on like this lovely track that we've got to use today. So if you do it on like a rubber floor, it'll kind of chew that floor up or it just won't work very, very well. So you need something that will facilitate the sled to move. And you need a decent enough sled as well, something that you can load up a little bit of weight on. It's not about having mega weight on the sled, but you do need to be able to get something on there. So you need to grab yourself a decent sled. So the first variation we're going to look at on the sled today, which Sophie's going to demonstrate and go through, is a squat to a pull. So we're going to go into a squat, and as you're coming out of that squat, so just pull and then move backwards with it. Okay, off you go. So squat and then pull, that's it. And then move backwards and sled will move forward and that'll tell you when you need to go down again. That's it, good. Now you get a little bit of momentum now. So it's actually harder to do it slowly than it is to do it with a medium pace. So just move back and into it. As soon as you feel that cable tightening, that's your cue to squat. Up and then go backwards, straight in and squat. There you go, nice. So there's a little bit of coordination here as well. But it's a nice functional movement, a big movement, squat to a pull. Don't do that a lot. Get your hips into it and get those hips driving. Nice. Good, and time. That'll do. And then we will, we'll, let's bring it round. Okay, next one, as Sophie looks at me with a sort of, a kind of fear on her face. We're just going to go into simple one. Just going to grab the cables and then just march backwards with it. Get those hamstrings and calves tightened up and warmed up. Good, nice and tall. That's it. Keep going, really push through the floor and get that sled past the cone. Good. Okay, the next variation is a forward march. Yep. So all you're going to do with this one, Soph, is hold it behind you and just drive through the floor, through the ball of your foot. Off you go. Push, 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 and just try and get some force through the floor. Good. Go right through to that wall. Good, right, right through, right through. Time, good. And then the last variation is a sort of side crossover step. So all you're going to do is you're going to face this way both times. You're going to go down to the cone, yeah. flip the sled round and come back. So it'll work both sides of the body in that way. What we're looking for is as you step across, that's the, that's the push there. Okay, so have a go with that one. Hardest one. Yeah, push. That's it, stay low. Stay low with it. That's it. Good, and then let your arms straight, that's it, stay low, good, that's it, good, right through to the cone, time, and let's bring it back, straight back, so don't worry too much about kind of coming into that like, that position, okay. just stay low there and push across, yeah. Good. Push. 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 Good. So, get your breath back. Yeah. I'm going to reorganize the sled. And then you're going to go through those, all those variations together. So, yeah. blast them out into a circuit. Okay. And then we'll see how you feel at the end of that. It's, it's a full body, total body workout. You've got everything going in there. Yeah. And your trunk and your core, hips, your calves, your thighs, everything. It's all happening. And power, good. Straight back, good. 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 Hips right through, get those glutes into it. Really good power, this. That's it. Good. Nice. Good. One more, one more. Nice time. Good. Let's go into a backward march now. Off you go when you're ready. 
Try and keep your shoulders back and get that pinch at the back there, nice and tight. Good. Good postural exercise, great postural exercise this. Calf's hurting there as well. Yeah. Time, good. Then you go into a forward march, nice and low, just driving through the floor. Again, posture. Good. Good extension. Good. Right through, right through, right through. Time, good. Okay, now you can see your sides. Feeling it a bit. <laughs> yeah. So face this way, stay low, keep your shoulders where they are all the way through. And step across with that left leg. Push, push. That's it. Good, lovely. It's way better. Good. Step across. Stay on the line. Arm straight. Push, 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 push. Keep going, a few more steps. Time, 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 time. So there's loads of things you can throw into that. Yeah. And I mean, we've, we've done like crawling in there. So yeah. attach it to like a waist belt or a shoulder harness and do like crawling along the floor. It's quite an effective one, especially for like martial arts, combat yeah. sports, that sort of thing. But, but even for you, in like your pre-season and your off-season just to kind of build up some capacity there. Yeah. Uh, it's quite a good one. And you can do, if you've got two handles, yeah. which we didn't today, you've got two, you can do some really nice shoulder stuff going into like your W's oh, yeah. with it. So yeah. I do like a, a squat into like a shoulder there with a the light, oh, just, use the, just use the sled on its own, with like a yeah. lightweight. But you think the beauty of that is the the eccentric of most exercises, as you well know, is the bit that makes you the, the sorest. Yeah. And if you're doing with a sled, there's no real eccentric. You're doing it, so in this way, bringing it up, the sled moves towards you. Yeah. So it's purely concentric movement. Yeah. So it's nice to get, it's actually good recovery. So if you ever like, on a day when you're really beaten up after yeah. a hard session, okay. just do some really light sled mo mo movements like that with, with two handles and just go into there and you can, you know, there's no eccentric on it at all. Still getting work done, yeah. yeah, yeah, and it just gives you that like flush yeah. out as well, gets the blood blood flowing. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some tips that you can take into your training or your coaching. And we will be back on Strength and Conditioning TV very soon. Thanks again, Soph, for your Thank help, you. and we'll Enjoy. see you again. That's all good.